Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well on this stupendous, stupendous Saturday. It's the weekend, baby. It's the weekend. And me, like some of you, we don't get a day off. And especially when we have people who need our help. And that's what today's video is about. Somebody who needs our help. And that person is Amber Spradlin. Now, we're going to come to it in a second because I'll tell you about how this got brought to my attention. And this shows just how, how can I say, how, you know, we talk about corruption and things like this, but this seems to be corruption at its absolute finest. And it is kind of reminiscent to perhaps the Murdoch era down in South Carolina. But let me just bring, oh, and by the way, you're looking absolutely amazing. I hope you know that. But look, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to read you the email that I received, which brought my attention to it. I'm not going to show you the email purely because this person is local to the area. So I don't want to bring attention to this person. But it says, Harsh, pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am. There has been a, num a murder in our area. Amber Spradlin. Murdered in the house of a prominent dentist. He was there, his son was there, as well as a few other prominent figures of the area. So far, zero arrests, police chief has resigned, mayor just resigned, and not one person has ever even been brought in for questioning. 911 was called by the victim and no one came. Last seen alive at a motel bar, which is also owned by the dentist, whose house she was found dead in multiple stab wounds in the face and other areas you can search justice for amber and find out all anyone knows this is bad stuff corruption is rampant i contacted you because i follow your channel as well as a few others i have a responsibility and um to the community to do what I can. The best thing I can figure to do is get you and a couple of true crime creators to get in on this. I sent a message to Drip Drop 2. I'm just trying to get somebody to say something that is actually being heard. Thank you. Have a blessed day. And please let me know if you think you can help spread awareness of this. Someone has to be prosecuted for this woman's death. Thank you. So that's how this got brought to my attention. I'm guessing there'll be people out in the audience who have heard of this. Um, there'll be some of you who perhaps haven't heard of this. And that's where the tragedy lies. Because something like this, everyone should know about it. And absolutely 100% somebody should be held accountable for it. Now I'm going to flick over to here. Um, and just go through this with you. This is a page on Meta. Um, which is, I got this sent to me. Last June, Amber Spradlin was, and they've obviously used emojis there, at the home of her boss, Mike McKinney, in Floyd County, Kentucky. Floyd County consists of countless unsolved disappearances and mooders. Um, don't want to get flagged, especially involving women. Two recent missing women dated the ex-sheriff's son. Amber's case is getting a lot of attention for the first time. The political corruption is beginning to come to the surface for those in and around the area as well as across the US. Many involved. Her aunt, Debbie Hall, MD, started the group Justice for Amber, which now has over 23,000 people. Debbie recently posted on the group that arrests are coming. Corruption going on in Floyd County in Kentucky. Amber family needs justice. Amber needs justice. Um, it is wrong that no one has been arrested in this case just because who the person is related to and their political ties. Um, I'm using my United States of America First Amendment constitutional right freedom of speech. And there are a few posts. Um, this is apparently uh, months after. This is the person who they're questioning how one acts um, just months after a young lady was murdered in your home says a lot about you, um, especially since you've done nothing to help the police find the killer. I've tried to stay on the sideline and watch, but this is getting ridiculous. 
And like I say, there's a lot of unhappy people. If any of my friends would like to support Justice for Amber, this is a story of a beautiful young, a young beautiful soul whose life was taken away nine months ago. Five people were present. Um, and there's some details which you can read on screen, which again, I don't want to get flagged. Um, right were uh, I raised in a small town of 800 even less how I suspect since it's a ghost town 9 months and no arrest murderer walking around living a life to the fullest um, please help share her story and that is exactly what I'm doing here um, Floyd County murder victim highlighted on the highway just as for Amber um, takes battle to the billboards and apparently there are big billboards for justice for amber shown around the area um, prestonburg kentucky amber spradlin's family is still looking for signs of justice eight months after the floyd county woman was murdered this week they made a couple of signs of their own um, according to local officials, Spradlin was killed in the home of local dentist Dr. Michael McKinney on June 18th, 2023. Since then, her family has been waiting for answers as Kentucky State Police investigates what has been described as a violent assault shrouded in too many factors for police to make a quick arrest. I just booted my own camera because the dog's trying to eat something down here. I'll get him up in a bit. Um, make a quick arrest the wheels of justice are moving a little bit slow and we understand that it's got to be slow because of the amount of evidence that needs to be analyzed and with no one assisting by talking they have to get all of their information from what they've gotten at the crime scene said spradlin's on melissa sammons we are very still very hopeful that it's not gonna be very long um, but again, this was on the 19th of February. And what are we now? We're a month on from this. And again, there's there's still no movement in it. I think that's probably what has spurned um, this individual to reach out. They obviously thought it was going to start moving, but it seems to have died off again. While Spradlin's family maintains complete confidence in the investigation and the agencies involved, um, often asking the public to understand the complexities of the investigation as mistrust in the system continues. They also want to keep Spradlin's story in the public eye to put as much pressure as possible on the perpetrators. Um, after spending the holidays in mourning, the family is taking its battle to the billboards, working through a Justice for Amber non-profit created in Spradlin's memory um, to rent two signs on tra high traffic roads in Floyd County. When I first saw the billboard, all I could do was cry, said Sammons. It was her larger than life. The billboards located in Prestonburg and Allen read Justice for Amber in cursive words above a bold murdered June 18th, 2023 with a photo of Spradlin smiling. Um, doing it out of grief and love, said Sammons. We know it won't bring her back, but she didn't deserve to die the way she did. The family, community members, business owners and supporters said it's a powerful monument to Spradlin's memory. Um, and they hope to see the image of Amber guilt the people responsible into confessing. Don't think that's going to happen, sadly. Um, when the people that are involved in this horrible thing drive by and see the billboards, that maybe it will make them feel like they need to come forward, said Sammons. I don't think it's going to phase that person, um, the person or that, um, or person that actually did the murder, but maybe the people that are surrounding this, those people, it may make them have a conscience. Again, Combs, owner of the grey area, agreed. He has had his Justice for Amber signs in place for months. Now, with his shop only a few feet from the Prestonburg billboard, he hopes the message will be even louder. Those billboards cost a lot of money. That tells me that no one's giving up. We're just keep trucking, said Combs. It's like the world tour for Justice for Amber this year, 2024, and we ain't stopping until we end up in a courtroom. The Justice for Amber group funded the billboards, and the non-profit created from its support will eventually create more programs to help children in the area. Salmon said Spradlin was always passionate about kids, and that is the one great way to honour her memory once justice is served. But for now, they're focused on keeping her face in front of of the fight so again i'm guessing some of you will have heard of this some of you won't have heard of it but 
my sort of ask of everybody, and that is the people in the community, is to watch this video, share this video. Make sure you watch as much of it as you physically can to help spread it. Like the video, um, subscribe to the channel. I don't normally ask, but all these little things help because things like this need to get pushed out into the community. And if you are a content creator, no matter how big, no matter how small, I think we can all agree, and we don't agree all the time, certainly, but I think we can all agree that a video on this case could make a huge difference especially if it gains momentum and enough people get on board and enough people start applying pressure in the right places but for now that's me enjoy the rest of your saturday i will be doing a video later on just in sort of honor of the princess kate situation so keep your eyes peeled but for now i'm gonna go and go and rest and i shall catch you all in the next one